The Chargers trading up to number 23, not to get an offensive lineman, but to get a linebacker, Kenneth Murray out of Oklahoma. From the moment former Oklahoma Sooner Kenneth Murray stepped onto the field as a freshman, he made his impact felt. Inside screen, up across the 20, and he's all tied down. Kenneth Murray says, you run no more. Murray had grown up quicker than most. He helped raise three siblings with special needs and credits that to never taking his abilities for granted. Athletic freak who plays with his hair on fire. Murray rarely leaves the field. He plays with that same intensity from the first minute of the game to the last second of the game. He's a three down linebacker, something that's somewhat rare to find nowadays. Oklahoma's had a lot of great defensive players taken over the years, but not, not necessarily linebackers. It's their first linebacker taken in the first round in the common draft era. This is a value pick for me for the Los Angeles Chargers. I think one of the reasons why they want to trade up ahead of the Saints is because I don't. I think if the Chargers didn't take him, the Saints would at the 24th pick. That's, that's why they traded up ahead to get him. And I think they see the, the qualities that he brings. I mean, if you look at this first round, they really got both their quarterbacks on each side of the football now, and Justin Herbert and Kenneth Murray. He's a three-down linebacker, side Sideline to sideline. I said this about Chase on. He's really a complete player defensively. Kenneth Murray is that as an inside backer. So this Chargers defense just continues to get better uh, now with a stud on that side of the ball. Anytime Oklahoma's defense came up with a big play, it usually was because Kenneth Murray was involved. He was either getting a strip, getting a big sack, you know, contributing with a big hit that kind of lit up the entire defense and the team fed off of that. So I'm with you. I love this pick for the Chargers. Bryant McFadden, two times Super Bowl champion, defensive back for the Pittsburgh Steelers joining us. Do you like that the Chargers gave up a second and a third to get back into the first round and get a quarterback on defense? Uh, definitely high risk, uh, but you're looking at what their defense has been going through over the last few years. I mean, the linebacker position has been the Achilles heel of their defense. So finding a way to improve that side of the football and being able to get a guy like Kenneth Murray, I think is a huge, a huge get for this defense. I mean, you look at what they have on paper right now, guys. This defense could be an outstanding defense. They got Bosa, you got Ingram, you got Linval Joseph, uh, you got uh, Derwin James back in the fold, along with Chris Harris, who you signed uh, uh, via free agency, along with Casey Hayes. So they have a talented, talented defense on paper and being able to add a tackling machine like Kenneth Murray is, is huge. The only knock I have on Kenneth Murray, guys, is that he only knows one speed. He plays full speed every time. Anytime he gets in the car, he's going 100 miles per hour. And I think that's a good problem to have if you're a defensive-minded coach. <laughs> that's an interesting way of looking. I'm not sure that's such a bad thing. Uh, I'll say this, though, about them giving up a second and third to get up in the first and get Murray. When you look at their roster on paper, if I'm Tom Telesco, I'm kind of saying to myself, like, are we just going to draft down a second and third that we maybe don't feel great about or impacting our team? Like, they've got a solid roster when healthy on both sides of the ball, but even more so on defense. So if you're going to select a guy, you better make sure that you're going to trade up, take him. It's a guy you love, and it's a guy that's going to start for you, and you're not going to have to worry about cutting and putting on the practice squad. Second or third, I, you go get the player you want, and you give what it takes to get there to get a player like this. Let's bring in Scott Pioli, who won several Super Bowl championships with the New England Patriots in the front office, five-time executive of the year. What do you make of uh, Bill Belichick trading out of the first round? Well, I'm not totally surprised. You know, he trades out. He didn't have a second-round pick going in this draft. They gave away their second-round pick this year for Mohamed Sanu in the trade last year. This now gives the Patriots a second-round pick, number 37 overall. But they now have four picks in the third round. So they've got a lot of work to do tomorrow, and they're going to be very busy. They feel good about this. Bill loves to accumulate picks. I think one of the things that we did together an awful lot was accumulate picks because we knew we weren't going to hit a home run or maybe even a double or a triple on every pick. So we had to make sure that we had more picks to have more opportunities. In the case of the San Diego, uh, excuse me, the Los Angeles Chargers, I really like the, uh, the fact that they traded away a second and a third round pick really to jump up and get a player that they know is going to be a starter. But if you look at this, yes, they traded away a second and a third rounder, two picks. What they really did was trade away just a third round pick to move up higher. And they got a player that they really th like. I like Ken Kenneth Murray, and I think he's a going to be a quality starter for their defense. Now, four third round picks for the New England Patriots, but they do not have a first round pick now as they trade out. Chargers trade up and get Kenneth Murray. 
you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.